we decided to open cooking at the cottage, I had coordinated classes for six years on a volunteer basis for Campbell's Gourmet Cottage. And when they unfortunately had to close, the opportunity arose. I've been a full-time realtor now for 32 years, and I'm still doing that, but this is my passion. Cooking and the classes are just the thing that makes me happy. You're always learning something. You're always picking up something new. I loved to cook from the time I was a child. And then as I grew older, I started taking cooking classes. And I've taken classes now for about 35 years. It's my golf or tennis. Our big focus is on the cooking classes because it's something you don't find every place. Good morning, everyone. There's so much to learn. There's so many talented chefs in Louisville. I mean, we're just so fortunate to have the chefs and the culinary instructors we have. Thank you for coming out today. Has anybody else been victimized by one of my classes before? Today is muffins, scones, and cinnamon rolls. Those are all in the lexicon of real bakers. Uh, quick breads, things that go together quickly. You know, my goal in this class is never to have you walk out here and go, oh my God, that was amazing. It's for you to walk out here and go, holy crap. That's not so hard. <laughs> the nice thing about them as opposed to an artisan bread is instant gratification. We do Italian classes, we do different ethnic classes, we do full meals, we do grilling, we do smoking, we do children's classes during the summer. We have a six week basic training series as well as a six week intermediate training series for somebody who really wants to get in and learn how to cook or somebody who's cooked all their life and they don't know why they do what they do. They just do it because the recipe said or mom said or whatever. I don't know of anything like it, certainly in this region. Um, when Linda and Mark opened this, it was, it was surely needed. The uh, date night classes on Friday and Saturday night are booked up for months because people get to come in and have a tremendous dinner and get to cook some of it and it, it's way cheaper than if you bought it at a restaurant with some of the same chefs who are teaching the classes so it's a great deal. Cinnamon filling and this is six and a half tablespoons of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. This is a demonstration class. I will be in front of the class. I will talk about ingredients. I will talk about mixing techniques. I will try to explain everything I can and generally there's a lot of back and forth. I, I try to answer every question that anybody could possibly ask. You don't want to fold this up too tightly. One of the great things about this kitchen is that everybody in the class has a great view. There's a tilted mirror so you can see what I'm doing with my hands. And I've never had anybody say, oh gosh, I can't see what you're doing. So the, the view is, is really good. The, um, Video monitors are over the stove. I don't use the stove often in these classes sometimes, but um, you know, it's, it's been wonderful. I mean, I, I frequently ask, can, can everybody see what I'm doing? So, oh yeah, well, sure. Crimp that edge down at the end of it. We do hands-on classes. Um, we do pizza making, we do sushi, um, pasta making, things like that, things that can be accomplished in our setup. Um, then we do partial hands-on where they might make a part of a dish. We have our retail section. If they see the chef using something, if there's something they find that they're missing from their kitchen, you know, we have it on the retail side. So what we try to do are find things that are high quality. They're useful. They're not the thing that you buy once. Why did I buy this? You throw it in the drawer. Um, things that have you know, stood the test of time, things that our customers have recommended, things that we've found and we've tried out and really feel like they're a good value. Cinnamon rolls. In trying to figure out who our clientele were, we found out that there are about two generations that never were taught to cook. It's when mothers went back into the workforce, when TV dinners became popular, when drive through restaurants opened up, and they didn't learn to cook. So they didn't teach their children to cook. We have people who come to class who don't know how to separate an egg, don't know which the egg white and the egg yolk are. And they really don't know. Pull out every ingredient you like, put it together and see what happens. 
Um, that's how a lot of the scones and recipes I've come together. I'm going to do a apricot, coconut, toasted almond scone today that you can put together start to finish in less than an hour. That includes cleanup. How did I come up with that? Well, I went in the pantry and that's what I had. I gave it to some people. They went, wow, that's really good. I said, really? Okay, we'll do it again. I find most of the classes are just completely engaged. People are interested, they're here because they want to, and I think because they know, I can go home and do this. This is not as difficult as maybe I thought it was.